What's up guys, this is Mitch back here and welcome to the Movement Center and welcome to the Hockey Series where we break down the hockey player from the foot, ankle, knee, hip, low back, shoulder, elbow and wrist so that you can move like you mean it. Hey what's up guys, welcome to episode one of the Hockey Series and today we're talking about the foot here with lovely Marco. And uh, we all know how important the foot is to pretty much everything, but with skating specifically, that people don't think about the foot too much, but it's the first thing to contact your blade, which then contacts the ice. So if you can't get your foot into a rigid and sort of force impacting position, you're not gonna be able to get that bite off your skate and make that turn or make that final cut uh, and get to, get to the weather net or whatever it might be. So pretty important stuff. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is take a look at a way you can test yourselves, see if this is an issue for you, where you can release that, once you get that release in, a way you can activate it, and a way you can kind of work that into your everyday sort of skating and, and positioning a little bit, okay? So to start with, I have Marco take off his shoe. So we're gonna have him pop that off, and now we're lucky we have Marco here today because he has a terrible foot. So we can look at his foot and kind of his, his shirt coat in front. So we bring him up, don't mind the hair, uh, and if we kind of just look at where his foot sort of positions itself here, you can see the bottom of his foot there kind of falls away and don't, come on, be normal, be normal, there you go, in towards, towards the ground. So it kind of sits pretty flat down. He has a bit of trouble getting bite off a skate or kind of pushing off. Now he's a great skater, he's found ways to avoid this work, but the stronger we can make his foot, will be a bit more powerful coming off. So the test for this guy that we want to work on is something called penny pen. So we're gonna grab yourself a pen, all right, we're gonna sneak that underneath, butt end first, in towards, just underneath that bone that kind of sits uh, at the base of your of your foot, so you have your lateral ankle bone, bone uh, medial ankle bone, right on the inside, and this bone that sits underneath. You're gonna sneak it right under there, kind of at the highest point of your arch. You should get it about quarter of the way underneath the foot, and then once it's under there, what we're gonna do is have, see if you can hold that position without get it in there without that thing touching your foot at all. So if you can't go one on one leg and hold that position without quivering or holding that just right over top of the of the of the pen you guys have a problem. If you can do it, then you might be okay. But this is just a quick screen for us to look at. So we're gonna relax down there. So the drill for us to do this afterwards is we wanna get and release all this stuff in the bottom of the foot. So we're gonna pass Marco that, and I'm gonna grab one too. And we're gonna do is just roll out the bottom of the foot. So this seems pretty easy, right? You take that, you kinda roll back and forth, kinda grind the bottom of the foot up and down. Feels good. Right, hang on here for a minute or two. And then the, the important thing with this is you want to make sure you get some pressure on the knee and wiggle the toes. So a lot of people just roll around the foot. That's great. But you want to make sure you're getting good movement of the toes back and forth to move those muscles up and down on the pressure of the ball. All right. So that is number one. Now, once you've got that going well, the next piece of this is to activate that arch. So this is where we call the penny pen exercise. Now, we're in Canada here. We don't have pennies anymore. So we're going to use a quarter. It's worth more. Right. We're really, really balling out here. So for this, we're gonna take that penny or that coin and put it underneath the base of the toe. So you sneak down, perfect. That's gonna give you a contact point. So that's when you're pressing through the, the base of your foot without using that toe there, okay? So be the base of the big toe. Take that pen, whoop, sneak that underneath. Now, what's crucial with this, guys, is you don't let that bottom part of your arch touch that while you create pressure and pull your foot towards your heel and you just see that arch kind of pop up a little bit. Now Marco's doing this really well where you can see his toes aren't in contact with the ground. A lot of times people do, do this wrong force Marco, kind of crunch, so he'll scrunch the ground really trying to get into this. Um, so he's doing it really well, it's kind of relaxing through here and digging into that point. Awesome, and we can advance this a little bit by doing that same thing. I'll show you guys from the front here, activating that foot, but then also picking up the big toe. So this is a little bit more of a challenge for Marco because he says it hasn't trained on this stuff, but picking up that big toe, right? So you can see from the side here, picking up that big toe, holding that arch up and slowly relaxing down, relaxing the foot, and then repeating that sequence to make sure you don't let that arch fall down. Awesome, so once you guys have mastered that, you're gonna hold that, we're gonna move to the next piece of this, which is gonna be hockey. So how do you transfer this to hockey? Well, what we're gonna do is grab a puck, and it's important that you only wear one shoe when you guys do this at home, All right? And that's gonna be, actually, this is actually better if you do barefoot. And you're gonna go balance that one foot with that pen in place and hold that position like that and then do some stick handling, right? You can do some shots, do some stick handling, you know, passing back and forth with, with, a, with a friend or a player, but make sure you're holding that arch and making it work, keeping your hips level. And Marco's doing a great job of that. He's not dropping down his hip as he does this because um, he's just so pro, all right? So that's the drill, guys. First thing, beat up that foot. Second thing, learn how to activate and keep that foot active. And the next thing is do it active 
while you move. All right, get some more butt off your skates. Any questions at all, leave it below. Uh, comment if you haven't, we'd like to see that. Give us a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel for a new video this every week, guys. We got about 10 episodes coming out. And of course, move like you mean it. Thanks a lot, guys.